Wow, July's real estate market numbers. That's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and today I'm gonna do something quite different. I have a special guest with me. Mr. Rob Howe with Elite Realty. Hello. And um, we are going to go over the numbers and dissect everything that happened last month in the real estate market because it was cray cray. Fire. <laughs> That's why we buy the fire. Oh, right? yeah. But well, you can't see the fire. Because it, we it was the on fire, <laughs> our market. So, normal format, I'll go over the numbers and then we'll dissect those numbers. Um, so, basically, last month there were 3,000. 325 single family homes that sold, which was up 34.9% from June and also up 5.3% from July. So what is that telling you, Rob? It's telling us that, uh, yeah, back to that fire. We've been on fire because uh, I think there's been some urgency. Buyers are getting out there and uh, taking advantage of their opportunity. Uh, there's obviously low interest rates, and there's really low, considerably low uh, inventory. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure if that if that actually translates into why we had more sales, um, but we did. And well, I guess we had more it. sales is because we had a little more inventory to sell. Um, did we have more inventory? Yeah, we'll go over that. I, I thought we had less inventory. Actually. Did we? Yeah, we have less inventory. That's kind of what's creating the. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that's okay. We'll <laughs> Where did that go? <laughs> uh, no, they were higher than last month, um, but oh. they weren't as comparable to Com the month before. Or year over year. Year over year. Inventory is down year over year, which is good. Inventory is down year over year, which is really good for sellers because you know you're not have you don't have a glut of properties on the market, and. Uh, you know, you can still remain pretty competitive with pricing. Right. So that leads us to the next segue, which is the medium median sales price, and it went from three hundred and twenty-five thousand in June to three hundred and thirty thousand. Again, another record high when it comes to medium median. I won't say medium median mm -hmm. sales price, right. and that puts us up one point five percent from July or June. Sorry. And then 8.9% from the prior year. So last year this time, I, I don't remember what the numbers were, but 8.9% is a huge increase when it comes to median sales yeah. price. Yeah, and that is definitely directly related to supply and demand, in my opinion. Because there's just, you know, buyer, buyers aren't seeing the good houses come on, and they're, they're getting multiple offers in some cases right now. Which, uh, some of that is pretty surprising to see, especially with everything going on, but it's a absolutely welcome. Um, which, you know, would segue, in my mind, why, why they're urging to get sellers to list their property as soon as possible. Because if you're thinking about it, now is the time. Exactly, later. exactly. Um, hold on. Oh, one of the, another things that are selling is actually not just the lower price homes, but actually the higher price homes have been selling. So yep. that's why the median price is going up. Because of that, when you have very little supply and you have a high demand we're getting into bidding wars multiple offers people coming in with cash a lot of out-of-state people coming in to yeah. buy as well but the most important thing that we both agree on is having listings and we need sellers and I've been yeah. saying this for the last two three months now that we need listings and why do we need listings <laughs> well <laughs> Because the market, you know, that has buyers for those listings, and uh, it is is somewhat anemic. Uh, I, I don't know that that's going to continue. That, and that's the big urgency in my mind is why you want to sell now versus the unknown future. What we can predict now is for the next thirty to sixty days, at least, that we're going to see a similar market happening, but with the potential for more sellers to come on later as time goes. Which means that you know you could have more competition if you're a seller. So as a seller, for me right now is the time to sell as soon as possible. Um, and just because of those unknowns that are happening in the future, the potential for buyer pools to get a little smaller with people that are 
you know, in, in, in some tough situations right now. But the thing is that the region, the whole United States, the whole world has a similar problem. So when some more expensive markets like California get pinched, I think that that actually brings people to look at our market for a good landing spot, which is why maybe some of the luxury homes are selling mm -hmm. and things like that a little bit more now because the interest rates are so great. I mean, getting into a into a luxury home in Vegas compared to one in California, I mean, come on, it's yeah. night and day. And if you don't have to rely on your work, like a lot of retirees, I know you work with a lot of people in Sun City, and so those are very stable buyers, and that's what we're also seeing is very stable buyers that are out there. The right. ones that are out there right now, have uh, they're through the ringer. I mean, the lenders are checking them out. So if they're uh, ready to buy your house, they are good buyers. Exactly. And it's not 2008 all over again where the lenders are just lending to anyone. No. The lenders will not lend to you if you are collecting unemployment, um, if you're in a forbearance, um, no. basically, or if you're just still unemployed. They just will not lend to you. Yeah. Even if you're on a fur furlough as well, they will not lend. Um, all the buyers that I've been working with have been pre-approved, they're ready to buy, financially stable, and as I mentioned in previous videos, do not depend on the casino industry, the service industry. Yeah. Um, they're here, they're moving here because of no state income tax, lower property taxes, um, and just our awesome weather. Yeah, <laughs> well, which is hot, just <laughs> like, yeah, just like the market, hot, hot, hot. Just always think Vegas when it's hot, the market's probably pretty hot. Uh, but yeah, I think people are moving here. They're also moving here because, you know, we don't have to work in a, a building as much anymore. This, this time is teaching us that you can uh, work from home. So a lot of people are saying, why am I spending an absorbent amount, absorbent amount of money to be in this, uh, you know, location when I could save a lot of money and work from home by moving to Las Vegas, Nevada. Right. And this is what the C word has caused. A lot of people are working from home now, going remote, um, which is anyone can work from anywhere. And a lot of reasons people like working remotely is because of the no state income tax. Wait, what's but the C word? I can't say it online oh, oh. because if I say it, then um, Google doesn't pick this video up. Oh, we're not going to say the C word is, <laughs> whatever that is. I don't know. Could be all kinds of things. So the key is, the point of this is that if you are able to sell, now is the time to sell. As Rob mentioned, we don't know what the future is going to look at like. We know what's going yes. on right now in the present. We can't predict that there's going to be a crash and that the prices are going to go down. Right now, we don't see it happening. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no drop like that. It's this isn't going to be uh, you know the roller coaster ride where you know that drop is coming. I think that uh, there's going to be potential for some changes in the market as the future goes. There's no doubt about that. Which is why we also keep saying that now is a good, very good time to make sure to get in on something that is known. A known quantity is very important. Right. Right. Especially when you're selling probably the most important asset that most of, most people have. <laughs> and I think if we do crash, I think it's not going to happen until March or April. Just yeah. because the people who are in forbearance, every three months, if you're in forbearance, you need to speak to your lender and say, hey, yeah. I can't make it. Um, most of the lenders or banks are giving you 12 months. So if we started in March, then we won't see anything happening until probably At least, the and then I'm, I'm predicting it's really about an 18 month to two year process, really to filter through everything, maybe even longer in some cases. Right. But, uh, you know, the, the banks should be getting smart. Uh, certainly, if you're watching this and you're wondering, what can my bank do for me? Uh, you need to keep checking with them because I know that FHA has offered some things where they're going to tack on some of the forbearance to the end of the to the to the loan, which is really to me makes the most sense for mortgage uh, holders uh, because it, you know trying to just lump down a sum at the end of, of, of your forbearance is probably going to be pretty unlikely. And I know a lot of people want to stay liquid right now with the unknowns that are coming. So th this is definitely outside and just more information. Uh, you know, if you're this right. far into the video, you're getting some a little <laughs> extra. Um, but overall, again, it's just, you know, we're, we're feeling really good about real estate right now. Uh, and the buyers that are there, strong, strong like bull. <laughs> the ones that are out are definitely strong yes. buyers. Yes, yes.
Definitely. Okay, so let's get back to the numbers. We went yep. on a little tangent. Mm -hmm. um, as a side note, I have a client that's interested in the luxury market, and I just want to just shout that out. Believe it or not, last month, there were 64 homes that sold that were over a million dollars, and the month before that was 39. So that's a huge increase from June to July. However, the median price for um, one million up that was 1.35, I think, 1.35, yeah, yep. for July, and then for June it was 1.375 million. So obviously they took a $25,000 decrease in median price. However, they took a huge increase as the amount of a double right. the amount of listings that sold. That that tells me a lot about what's happening in that market. It's typically a slower moving market, anyways. Right. But I think that uh, the sellers that are are selling, guess what they want to do? They want to sell. Yeah. So if you're interested in buying, I think the luxury market is a very good place to go out and try to hammer out a deal that makes sense for the long run for you. So uh, you know, keep that in mind. You might be able to be a, a, a bit of a picky buyer in the luxury market. Right. But um, you know, sellers, you're you're getting them your property sold, so there's no reason to completely take the haircuts. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's motivation city out there, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, and you know. Some homes that have been sitting on the market long, well, actually, we'll go into that on months of supply. So, okay. So, the next um, segue is. I'm taking is, you all over your <laughs> place here. <laughs> the next segue is the number of listings that um, hit the market last month. and it, Zero. No, I'm zero. Just it jumped. It went from where am I? We had 3,703 new listings last month, which is up 14.1% from the prior month, but still down 10.2% year over year. Yeah. You're going to see that trend continue, and again, that get goes back. We're going to keep pinging back to what's important right now, which is sellers. If you're ready, if you're motivated, if you've been waiting for your time, your time is now. <laughs> Actually, it was yesterday. You need to it get on. It was two months ago. Yeah, you need to get on it as soon as possible. Make as much money as possible. Be to put your property out there and, and list it with people who really know what they're doing. Um, you know, even if it's not us, let's make sure they're really excellent at what they do because right now you're going to want to have that virtual, you know, showing. You want to have amazing photos. You want to really just put on a show with your listing. So if that's what you like to do, if that's what you want to see, guess who you're going to, you're probably going to want to call us. Yeah. And I will be putting out a video very soon about selling right now. So okay. be on the lookout for that. Maybe I'll have Rob as a guest to <laughs> go over. But he's going to be creating his own channel soon. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to help him out with that. But anyway, so uh, let's see what's next. Um, obviously, you know, buyers are here to buy. And why not, again, back and forth to the sellers. Take that opportunity to list your house and sell. There were 4,806 listings that had no offers last month, which is down... Um, 5.4% from June and down 38.4% from the prior year, yeah. which is huge. Yeah. Last year it was like covering around the 7,000 yeah. 7, range, I think. Yeah, so I mean that's that's also what's holding value for us though. Because we don't have a, a huge inventory, that's what's holding. It's, a, it's the supply and demand, right? Right, exactly. So, uh, you know, again, very good news for some. And you know what's really driving the market is not only the supply, as but also the low, historically low interest rates. Yeah, yeah, interest rates. I think they hit an even, even uh, average for people who actually got the interest rates. It was an average low, uh, record low. Right. right? So and I think right now we just did some research before we shot this. Um, yeah. It's at three point two, the average. That was the average three point two two. That was the average. But if you are, uh, you know, if you got the uh, the the bank and credit score, you're probably looking at even lower than that. And depending on what loan you're using, boy, if you're a VA, mm -hmm. if you can use your VA, oh my goodness. Yeah. I think I had a client that did 2.95 or something using his yeah. VA loan. I think the VA is at 2.7, 2.8, something wow. like that. Uh, so that's obviously with the, the best ratings, but you know, a lot of you VA people have the best ratings, so get out and use that as possible if you're Especially, you know, when you look out and you think of your, uh, you know, your financial situation and you don't see for yourself that you feel very stable, then your time is also to buy now. So we're not just uh, pitching the sellers, of course. We want uh, those 
those very stable buyers to get in the market. We think that you're going to be very happy if you do that. And just because it's technically a seller's market right now, which we're going to go into, um, doesn't mean you as a buyer can't get a great deal. I just went under contract the other day. We lowered the price. Ten, we got an odd deal at 10000 below asking price and 4500 in closing costs. This is a big deal. So those motivated sellers, they are ready to deal. And you know, when we talk about those ones that are hanging around, those listings that are hanging around, those are a good opportunity to go in there and beat up the seller. Exactly. If it's been you on know. the market over 30 days, oh, it's, it's up for cut city time. time. <laughs> and there's a lot of reasons why that home's not selling. And the number one yes. reason is because it's overpriced. Overpriced, maybe it doesn't have the upgrades, but right. that gives you opportunity. If you can buy it, you know, for those buyers that might be, let's say, a little more thick skinned or have a little bit more vision to, to do something with a property, uh, you can buy a property and then maybe completely make it your own. So right. if it's in the right location for you, that's probably the most important piece in my puzzle at least. Exactly, exactly. So last month we had 1.4 months of supply, which is completely down. The month before we were at 2.1, and the month before that we were at 3.4. So it's like yeah, our supply is trend. dwindling. This is actually good for the stability of the market. How long that will continue is the question. We all know. <laughs> yeah. So. But a lot of my clients, they put a halt on coming to visit because all my clients are out of state, mm -hmm. local, I mean, out of state clients, and they don't want to come here just yet because of what's going on with the C word. Um, but so that could cause another trend to still keep on going the way we've been going because they're waiting a month or two until yeah. things start clearing up. Yes, yes. I mean, there's there's a lot of ways that you can you can move this around. I would say that the most typical way, unfortunately, is for people to see a lot of negative in the market. But when we keep seeing these, these the actual you know data coming out, we're not seeing negative. We're seeing a lot of positive for anybody. And so, really, again, that where are you in your particular circumstance as whether it's a seller or a buyer? If you have the proper motivations. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, maybe there's something wrong not getting involved in the market now. Right, right, because again, we can't predict what the future is going to happen. And so if you buy now and it keeps on going up and up, just how much equity you're having in your house already. Yeah. In a year's time, you already have lots of equity. With California constantly supplying Nevada, I just think that's still a, a big, huge, giant component. Um, and we're all in the same boat. so. California gets the harder pinch than we do, and I think that helps Vegas. Right. And it's not just actually Californians. I have a lot of East Coasters yeah. in Jersey, New York, that want to relocate here because of when the weather, and then also, again, the main thing is no property tax or no state tax. Yep. Let's see what else we got. Save money, live well, and vacation back home. So basically, like I was saying, <laughs> just because it's technically a seller's market, it's right. still it's anyone's game. Right. Because there's a lot of homes out there that are overpriced, um, maybe need a little work, they've been on the market for a little longer, and those are the homes that, Rob, like Rob was saying, you need to focus on and get a killer deal off of. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think the toughest market right now is the 300 and under, maybe even 400 and under now yeah. um, with yeah. multiple offers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing a video very soon about um, what to do when you're in a multiple offer situation or and also what to do when you're dealing with just cash buyers. So stay tuned to those videos that I'll be posting shortly. As you know me, I'm usually, I usually don't do these type of videos. However, you know, with how the market's trending, I think they're very important for you guys to educate yourselves on. Um, so 59.7% of the closings last month were on the market for 30 days or less, which this number could be better, meaning that there are still stragglers staying on the market yeah. longer. Yeah. And for the reason being is because, like we said, overpriced or overpriced. Or yeah, price price right, and, and you're going to be very happy. Uh, you know, I, I, you just prior to the C word, I would have been saying you know price a little over and expect maybe a little under what you're going to what your uh, list price is. Right now, you really got to try to hit that number a little more squarely, in my opinion. Right, and see, I'm I'm a firm believer is price at or below market value because of the multiple offers. Yeah. It'll go to market value if, if, if there's a fight for it. Right? Exactly, and if it's a Maybe nice house, over. right location, you may even sell it over yeah. than what you thought you were going to sell it for. So there's always key strategies to selling your home, um, and again, we're not going to get into that right now. 
Hey, stay tuned to a video from me on that. Best strategy? Sell now. <laughs> That's funny. Am That's I pitching it. too hard? Am I pitching this too hard? I don't know. You can tell. Rob does a lot of listings, <laughs> and uh, I work with a lot of buyers, so I thought that was like cool to team up. Yeah, it's a nice yin yang. And yin yang and yeah. share our ideas because he sees it on the listing side and I see it on the buying side. And we're not real estate agents trying to get sales. We're here just to really tell you the truth, show you that these numbers don't lie. Um, we're not here blowing smoke up anyone's butts, right? No, we're not. That's not, that's not our thing. <laughs> we're true to ourselves, yes. and the main thing is educating you on what's happening with the Las Vegas real estate market, yeah. which is on, you can't see the fireplace, it's on fire It's right on fire place. It's on fireplace. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, I think it's important to have, you know, we, uh, right now, we don't get to see people as face-to-face -face as much which obviously both Angie and I do work via Zoom, so if uh, anybody wants to FaceTime. get going that way via Zoom, FaceTime. So uh, these are very important to me. This is something that we've recognized and really long overdue in some ways for myself, but lots of video, lots of information. It's not about us. Make, the sales will come for us all the right. time. We, do we well. don't have to worry about that. Yeah, but the information getting it out there is not... Is, Probably not in excess for a lot of people. I mean, I get the same questions all the time when people do get to face 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 to face with me. So I hope this has answered that, and I hope the continued, you know, between our you know our own individual efforts and anytime Angie and I get together, I hope that helps uh, people to have a little bit more understanding of what we're seeing right on the ground as it's happening. Um, yeah. Real world, real yeah. world stuff, right? Exactly. And if you'd like to download the full report provided by the Las Vegas Realtors, I posted a link down in the description below. Um, if you're thinking about buying or selling, you know, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or you can give Mr. Rob a call. Ah, just worry about calling. Okay. It's just going on. <laughs> I've, her I've posted um, a link to a buyer and seller form down in the description below as well. As always, if you like this video, you know, you have to give me a thumbs up, right? Yeah, like and share. Too, like, share, you know? subscribe, all that jazz. Subscribe, yeah. Um, it should be like up in the corner right here. I'm going to point to it, Ange. No, it's down below. Sorry. It's, <laughs> it's down below. Uh, that's where you're going to go. But, you know, this is where we hope the market's going. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Peace out. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Now we gotta talk loud too, I guess. Right. Of the, right. I need to get better speakers. What? What? Huh? Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, um. You know what? I would even start out with just July. Wow. You know, like, what happened in July? I think, wow, that was amazing what happened in right. July. Okay. <laughs> so I'll cut you off. Scoot over a little. Okay. Like, so I can, like, cut me off or whatever. Yeah.